Ugh, stupid traffic. Well, hi there, folks. My name is Motorbound Max from Disco Chimo Map and Pouring Off Roof Eye. Yeah! Selling you quality maps at dirt cheap prices. I'm oh, so great. Not, not this again. Map for you today. So hold on to your seats. God's gonna be so cool! Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes upon RPCSC Desert V2-1. A little hot is racing. Now, this map was wonderfully designed by Captain Super Cow. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Captain. Uh, uh, special thanks to Lugubrious Mobster and Isaac Fez for suggesting the map. I don't think there's anything else, so let's get into the map! Now I tell you, when you take the first step into this map, you're gonna be assaulted by some fresh map air. Breathe it in, it's kinda like honey and styrofoam. And when you start laying your peepers across the sands of this map, you're gonna realize, damn, there is just so much room for us to build cool shit! Now the main centerpiece of this map is a long, rustic road that spans from this side to that side. I tried driving over it, and I gotta tell you, the cracks add to the experience. It's like a forceful massage on your back that you just can't get out of. Speaking of not getting out of, both tunnels are closed, so plan on spending a lot of time in this massive sandbox. It's fun. First up on our list is the patrol station. No one seems to be home. You know what that means. Free gas! Woo! Hey, looks like they got a shack back there. But if it's none of my business, I ain't gonna open it. Up next, we got this massive crater, which could be repurposed for an above-ground pool. My Geiger counter is saying the hole's a bit radioactive, but when has that ever hurt anybody? Just be sure to remove the previous inhabitants before you fill it up with water. Up next is the quiet little town of Sandy Shades. And Consonant, they even got their own information booth. I asked them for a map, but all they gave me was this video game. Do I look like I own a computer? Let's go, let's take the tour. Hello, local church. Now, I'm not the religious type, but if you put a man behind a podium, I'll listen to whatever he says. Well, don't that just explain everything I've ever done. They got tons of houses, and this one has a sunroof. Everyone be on your best behavior. We're going to the old prison. Locked up in the jail cell is Social Ronald. He was caught skinny dipping in the crater. After his skin melted off within 13 seconds, they didn't really know what to do with him. Everyone knows you can't put a skeleton on trial, but maybe one day you can. Vote yes on Prop 582. Look at this farm. They're growing gunkleweed, the most toxic crop in the U.S. Look at that windmill. I can see my car from here. Welcome to the local well. <laughs> Get it? I said come. The local residents shove chocolate down this bucket for nimble children. I can almost reach it. Ah! Ah! <sighs> what the hell? Wait a second. This isn't chocolate. This is human beans. I gotta get out of here. This ladder leads up into the bar. So, now you know our secret, Mike. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> You know, I have really switched my position on human flesh. Woo, I'm stuffed. Hey, let's go check out this bunker. <gasps> Look, antennas. They've discovered technology. Clicking on the power box allows us to open this secret door. Oh my god. Computers! I can finally play this freaking game. Well, 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 would you look at this? An old abandoned military base. I'm sure I can go inside. Well, slather me in horseradish and promise to stay the night. I think I found a military base. Well, what have I found here? Massive crayons. <laughs> Wow! All right, keep that door closed. Those are not crayons. We gotta get these nukes out of here before someone finds them. All right, the rest of this place is confusing. Let's go through this slowly. Hey, a cafeteria. Do you guys sell human flesh? Nerd corner. All right, bunks, showers. Do you guys even know what you're storing in here? I mean, what is this? A power room with a power cell. This looks handy. I'll steal. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal. More storage. <gasps> a big conference room. What does this button do? Oh, and time to leave. Hey, this leads out to the shack next to the gas station. We gotta start looking at more shacks. There's one over there. Ooh, sure is dark down here. Okay, there's our first dead body. Hey, this looks like that game I played. All right, this is basically that game I just played. I guess that means everyone's out for the water chip. Why not just drink from the local pond? I did that for 15 years and look at me. All right, well, this vault contains all the amenities you'll need to survive any post-apocalyptic war. So, uh, you know, make yourself at home. I mean, it's mostly all just boring monitors and oh my god, they got a gun chair! Woohoo! And I gotta go tell those Sandy Shades people about this place. You've already met them. Well, where the hell are they? No, I'm not hungry. Hey, where'd you get all those funny blue suits anyways? Well, looks like I've been excommunicated to the mountains. But look what I found! The local mine! With working explosives! Haha, <laughs> yeah! I really shouldn't be standing this close. Well, I'm sure it's safe to go in. Kinda dark in here. Kinda spooky. What? What was that? Did I just see something? A generator. Oh, I know. I'll use that power cell. Let's see, look through the inventory. Uh, there we go. Oh, man, I've never put so much trust in lamps before. Thank you, Thomas Jefferson, for inventing electricity. Man, this is like the third elevator today. Those poor miners probably got trapped in the collapse. They never lived to see how sick their place would become. Such beautiful, natural architecture. Once you get over the skeletons hanging from the walls, it is a really pretty place. Speaking of skeletons, looks like we got more of them down here on floor three. If this map has taught me anything, it's to keep these bones behind bars. Well, I guess fourth time's the charm. Oh my god, what is this place? Green slime, dimly lit, horrible smell permeating through the air. Could this be the fountain of youth Grandma always told me about? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Geronimo! Oh god! I can feel myself getting younger by the second! Whoa! Where am I? Looks like an infirmary. <gasps> the Sandy Shades residents pulled me out of the slime and tried to save me. This isn't the infirmary, this is the kitchen. What? 
Price breakdown! I want everyone to experience the joy of this map, so I'll be selling it for 13 cents. Ship in $5 and we'll give you a ticket to the Sandy Shades Festival of Meat. Come on down and they'll have you for dinner. For only 13 more dollars, the old Sage of the West will teach you how to smoke gunkleweed. Now you're gonna want to do this next part real slowly as to not disturb the root. Order within the next 15 minutes and I'll give you my used copy of Fallout 1. Comes preloaded with my character, Mike is cool 63 uh, here's some fan art of him. Well, folks, that's all the time we had. I hope you enjoyed this tour through one of Gmod's many, uh, sandy maps. Hey, if you want to throw us on a map, write it down in the comments and I'll go look at it. Thank you so much to Captain Supercal for making this illustrious map. Well, it's been fun, but I gotta go find a way to cure this insatiable appetite I have for people's fingers. No one high five me anymore. This is Motorbath Mike from this guy on Gmod Map and I'm always telling you to take off all your clothes before you jump into a fountain of youth. Alright, let's try this again. Hey, it's not so bad the second time! Pull me up, pull me up, pull me up!